Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. I was not planning on doing this video today, but I'm here we are. I would love to be able to get my fall things out and start decorating these shelves, but it is just getting ridiculous again with books not fitting. Oh, look down here. It's just piles of books stuffed in books it's not bringing me joy at the moment. So here we are. We are going to do a quick rapid fire run through my shelves unhaul. Huh. I feel like I just did this not that long ago where I went bin by bin, like shelf by shelf and unhauled a ton of books. And yet here we are again. I'm ready to go through again and get rid of some books. I'm tired of them not being able to fit and having to stuff them in the top. I don't like that. So I'm trying to think like if I were to move into a tiny house, <laughs> maybe not a tiny house, but a smaller house than this, if I was to move somewhere where I didn't have the blessing of having a library room, what would I want to bring with me? What would I be okay letting go for now? doesn't mean that I'm never going to read it. It just means that right now I would like other things to take up space on my shelves. I would like to have room for decorations. I would like to clear up some of the decorations that are out here and like make room for fall stuff and just be again excited about what's on my shelves and have things fit a little bit better. So what we're going to do, I'm going to angle this a little better here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is go through the top row, time lapse it or something, <laughs> and then I'll show you what I've unhauled from the top row. And then I'm going to go to the second row, third row, and then fourth row is really only these two over here because, well, classics too. We'll see. I'm just going to try to do a, a quick cleanup. It's going to be quick. I'm not going to show you every single book like I did last time. I'm just going to kind of do a little run through and see if I can unhaul. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a goal. I just want to make things fit and look nice again. <laughs> so here we go. that top row. Nothing is on top. There's a lot more room. And I have a ton of books that I've just decided these are not going to be read anytime soon. I can be convinced. And I don't think I'm going to put these on Pango right away. So if you've read one of these and you think, oh my word, Krista, you absolutely have to keep that one. Let me know. I'm going to go ahead and fly through these right now. The Mitford Murders by Jessica Fellows. Paris Never Leaves You by Ellen Feldman. News of Our Loved Ones by Abigail, Abigail DeWitt. Before I Do by Sophie Cousins. And then two, Jennifer Chavarini. I tried a Jennifer Chavarini and I thought she was too historical, not enough fiction. So I have Mrs. Lincoln's Dressmaker and The Resistance Women. Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe, Jenny Colgan. The Children's Train by Viola Ardon. Lost Boy Found by Kristen Alexander. Solo by Kwame Alexander. Miss Latimer's Letter by Suzanne Elaine. An Unnecessary Woman by Robbie Lemadine. The Weight of a Piano by Chris Kander. Three Things About Elsie by Joanna Cannon. I DNF'd Trouble with Goats and Sheep by her. I've had this on my shelf for way too long and never been drawn to it. Another Jenny Colgan, Summer at the Seaside Kitchen. Daughter's Tale by Armando Lucas Correa. The German Girl by Armando Lucas Correa. The Sisters of St. Croix by Diney Costello. Send for Me by Lauren Fox. The Sandcastle Girls by Chris Bajalian. Midwives by Chris Bajalian. Virgil Team by Bonnie Blevins. The Other Einstein by my Marie Benedict. And The Flip Side by James Bailey. So that is all the ones that I'm unhauling from the top row. I'm going to go ahead and do the next row. I'm in the mood. I've got to run with it when I'm in the mood. <laughs> I don't have quite as many from that shelf, but it does look way better and there's nothing stuffed on top. And I do have, I do have a handful. So on this shelf, we've got Becoming Jane Eyre by Sheila Kohler, The Three Lives of Alex St. Pierre by Natasha Lester, Iron Lake by William Kent Kruger, A Traitor in Whitehall by Julia Kelly, 
Light Over London by Julia Kelly, The Weight of Ink by Rachel Kaddish, The Unlikely Adventures of the Shergal Sisters by Bali Kaur Jaswal, To the Bright Edge of the World by Eowyn Ivy, and then a bunch of Kristen Hanna, Angel Falls, The Things We Do for Love, Between Sisters and Distant Shores. I love Kristen Hanna's historical fiction. These are all contemporary from what I know, and I just never reach for them, so they're going. I have two copies of The Appeal by Janice Hallett, so I kept the one that was gifted to me. I'm gonna go ahead and unhaul this YA duology, The Great Hunt and The Great Pursuit. I picked it up very early in my booktube days and just don't have the urge to read them, never have picked them up in years and years. Girl in the Red Coat by Kate Hamer and American Duchess by Karen Harper. We're making super good progress, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the third shelf. This is where it gets a little more full. I'm gonna see what I can do about cleaning it out a little bit. Okay, the third row is done. There's nothing on top. I was able to move quite a few over from the next row down, which is great. And I have a handful more <laughs> that I'm unhauling. Let's see, we've got The Chain by Adrian McKinty, Love and Ruin and Circling the Sun by Paula McLean, Girl in Disguise by Greer McAllister, The Little Coffee Shop of Kabul by Deborah Rodriguez, The Paris Seamstress by Natasha Lester, The Strange Library by Haruki Murakami, The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty, Sabriel by Garth Nix, The Dressmaker of Kirkana by Gail Zamach Lemon, Beekeeper of Alefti Aleppo by Christy Lefteri. I did start this once and couldn't get into it, so I don't feel bad unhauling that. Wait For Me by Caroline Leach, Red Island House by Andrea Lee, In the Land of the Long White Cloud by Sarah Lark. That's it for that row. I just have two left. I'm not gonna worry right now about my classic shelf down there that is hidden behind my chair. I'm just gonna do these, this one down here and this one. I'll lower you a little bit so that you can see as I go. I feel very excited about this unhaul, this unexpected, urge to unhaul. Here we go. One more shelf to do. All right, that's where we get to the end. These are owned net galley books. I'm keeping them over here separate, but I probably won't be doing that for long. So for now, they're gonna stay there. So here are the last ones that I'm unhauling. These two books in the Sweet Magnolias series, they're like number seven and number 14 or something. There's no reason for me to keep them. I'm just keeping book one to see if I even like it. Saving Ruby King by Catherine Adele West. It's Complicated by Karen Wright, short stories. The Age of Light by Whitney Scherer. These three books by Tom Rob Smith, Child 44, Agent 6, and The Secret Speech. They look really cool together, but I don't think they're for me. The Golden Hour by Beatrice Williams, Big Stone Gap by Adriana Tregiani, The Women in the Castle by Jessica Shattuck, The Bookseller of Kabul by Asne Sierstad. I don't know how to say that. German Heiress by Annika Scott. The Women of Copper Country by Mary Doria Russell. The Ventriloquists in ARC by E.R. Ramzipur. It's gorgeous and I loved receiving this. It was one of my first arcs I ever got and it came so cool packaged up. But honestly, it's so chunky and I've never heard anyone talk about it. And A Woman Is No Man by E. Top Rum. I just counted and there are 71 books that I'm unhauling. I'm really pleased about that. And I love how they look. Oh, this, this was a good plan for the day. 71 off of my shelves. Still so many more to read. <laughs> and room, space, look, there's like even wiggle room. I love it. I love it. I would love to hear though, if you agree with me on any of these, if, if there was one that just jumps out to you as, oh no, I can't believe she's unhauling that. <laughs> Let me know. I can be convinced, to be honest. I'm not gonna keep all of them, obviously, but I could be convinced to keep one or two of these, if you convince me. 
how convincing can you be? <laughs> That's going to be it for me today, though. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little run through. Now I've got lots of room to put up some decorations. I'm going to clear out what's mostly on my shelf now, all the tchotchke stuff, and make room for the fall tchotchke stuff soon. Not today. But yeah, I just, I got in a mood. And there we go. It's all done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you in another one really soon. Bye.